Hey, what's up? It's me, Parker. Um, okay, so here's my major announcement. Um, before I say my major announcement, um, real quickly, I feel really good. Um, these past videos I've dropped, I thought were one of my cre most creative videos ever made. Um, I feel I feel great. I feel like it's, it's like it's it's funny because you know there's this other side that was talking bad shit about me, kicking me when I'm down, picking on my real life stuff, um, data mining me, just fucking just trying to like destroy me. And I was out for the count, man. I was like out for the count. But I escaped it. I was like Jason Bourne, the bo fucking Bourne identity and shit. The Bourne supremacy. Fuck that, the Bourne ultimatum, all right? I'm like Jason Bourne, like walking around right now and this other side has no idea how to drop me. They have no idea how to like take me out. And they make these dumb expose videos, which the first video, like what, 3,000 people saw? Second, like 1,000. Third, fourth, like 500, 300. Like the views have been like diminishing. The latest fucking video, I swear to God. I, I think more people watched Menudo music videos last week than my latest expose video. It's like fucking pathetic. And so like right now I feel like I'm Jason Bourne. And I'm like, I'm not going to attack these people. Okay? But what I will do is I'm going to show them up. That I have wit. That I'm fucking clever. That I'm humorous. I have, I have, I'm entertaining. And these people who are trying to take me out, it's funny because they're fucking pissed. That like 90% of their audience, or 90% of their subscribers are also sub to me. And they hate that fact. And they hate the fact that they watch my shit. They hate the fact that everyone around them watches my shit. And they hate the fact that I haven't mentioned them in a vid yet. And I'm not going to. I'm not. I don't care. They're insignificant. You know? I mean, honestly, I, I could write a book about that whole group, right? What, behind the scenes, what happened, and, and stick him, and all that. But honestly, I don't think anyone would read it. I don't think anybody really cares. It's all about videos here on YouTube. Who can make the funniest, wittiest, most entertaining events? And they can't. Why do you think that they're starting to spam people like Lisa Nova? Doing all these desperate measures. Fucking Charles Trippy, like adding friends and shit. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I can speak louder than words. Alright? I mean, they're pissed. They're pissed the fact that I could, like... That, that, that people love my shit. They hate the fact that people bring up my old episodes all the time. Hey, I like your Dylan's Couch episode. Where is it? Where the fuck's your Isabella Brave video, Parker? They hate it. Because nobody talks about their or old shit. If you fucking suck a gun to my head and said, name, name five old videos from so-and-so, the other side, I wouldn't. I honestly don't know. I don't remember them. Not unforgettable. It's more like forgettable. Anyways, enough of that shit. I I, I get side. I digress sometimes. But anyways, I'm I'm you know I'm not gonna talk about because people PM me to this day, and a lot of these people are the same people that PM them, happy stuff like hey I love your videos and then they PM me dude s keep making videos Parker I still love you I'm still down with you man sorry about talking shit about you, and by the way all those people who used to love my shit. And they're talking shit about me on the uh, on the other side. Fuck them, man. They're like fake fans. They're like you know those fake sports fans that only show up when your team's in the playoffs. You don't want those guys around. That's why I'm like. That's why I have a list. And I'm gonna I'm gonna boot and block people, man, who are fake. If you're real, man, come come with it, man. Join, fucking hang out with me. If you're fake and try to play both sides. Out of here. Uh, anyways, uh, my huge announcement. I thought I feel really creative right now. Like I'm like I'm like I'm just like overflowing with creative juice. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I thought, why not make a POCT stand-up comedy movie, like you know the Kings of Comedy or Chris Rock. You know those Chris Rock movies or. You know what I'm talking about, Eddie Murphy, Delirious, something like that, okay? 
But it's kind of like the Kings of Comedy where instead of one comic, you have four. I'm going to have four comics, Cookie Monster, Grover Mohammed, Emo Elmo, and Gay Bird. And they're going to each have, what, 10 to 15 minutes, okay, on the stage. And they're not going to have any video clips. It's just going to be them on the stage doing stand-up, all right? And I thought that would be cool to have a contest. Like, who do you think would win? Who do you think will be the funniest comic doing stand-up material? And I know, like, a lot of people are thinking, hey, if Emo Elmo talks shit about Renetto the whole stand-up, he would be instantly funny. Because a lot of people don't like Renetto. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have these rules where you could talk about YouTubers, like celebrity YouTubers, but you also have to talk about real-life stuff. Like, like comedians do, like going, you know, going to the airport or, or flying or, or going to the grocery store. Stuff like that. All right, so I want you guys, you people who watch my stuff and love my stuff, you know, when this movie drops, and by the way, I don't know when this movie's dropping, it could drop next week, it could drop tomorrow, it could, it could drop next year, I have no idea, all right, because I, I told the puppets about the idea, and they're taking it seriously, they're, they're starting to write down material, they're like preparing for it, they're like, they're like going, they're going gung-ho, because each puppet... I'm telling you, man, they're, they're egotistical, and they, they want to win this prize. They want to win the funniest puppet. And I know a lot of you out there have your favorite puppets. Like, I know the, I know the Cookie Monster has a huge fan base, you know, because I don't know why, but they feel bad for him or whatever. But please, don't go in there watching my video, my, my stand-up comedy video, thinking, okay, I'm going to vote for the Cookie Monster no matter what. I want you to, like, forget what everyone has done, like, forget Grover Mohammed's actions in the past, forget email, email, just forget, just go in there with a blank mind, and honestly, vote, and honestly, be honest, who do you think was the funniest, alright, and when I drop the video, I want you to vote in the comment section, okay, and don't spam it, like, don't have the same guy, don't be like the, same, the jackass spamming, Emo Elmo, Emo Elmo, Emo Elmo for the win, Emo Elmo FTW. Don't do that. Just vote once, okay? Because I'm going to count only one time. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, can I vote via PM? Because, let's face it, if there was a lot of votes for Grover Mohammed, people might feel bad and say, you know what, Gay Bird doesn't have any votes. I'm going to vote for Gay Bird. So, basically, you could either vote PM via PM, or you can vote in the text box. So, the choice is yours. Now, on this video, in the comment section, I want you to predict who do you think is going to win this contest? Who's your favorite? Who do you think is going to win? Okay, because I'll, I'll be honest. I think the two strongest characters right now, uh, well, it used to be Grover and um, Emo Elmo, but I think the Cookie Monster just jumped up in popularity all of a sudden. I think Grover and the Cookie Monster are the, are the two most popular characters on the show. I think the weakest character definitely is Gay Bird. Um, Gay Bird is kind of... I don't know what's the deal with Gay Bird, but... He, he's like... He's right now in the, in the, in the downstairs writing down material. I'm telling you, these guys are like going nuts. Um, so basically, that's it. That's my announcement. It's going to be great. It's going to be like a movie. It's going to be a breakthrough. Like, it's, this, is, this is what I'm talking about, being creative. You know, if you want to go up against me, be creative. Because anyone can, like, hit record and, like, lean up against a wall and bitch and cry about stuff. Make it creative. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to take me out with, with, with no creativity. That's all I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I'm basically done. Um... That's it. And by the way, I'm not going to address these guys ever again in a video. Um, that's about it. I, you know, they're insignificant, and I'm done. Thanks, and I hope you like my idea. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out of here. Peace.